Ladies and gents, welcome to another video. Now, if you watched last week's video where I was looking at uh, the game platform for Web3 called GameSwift, you may be uh, recognizing the screen we're on right now. However, we're not here to play the game. You'll remember that this is one of the games that last week when I attempted to play it to see what Web3 gaming is all about, I wasn't able to. I couldn't connect a wallet and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a tricky situation, but good news, uh, but also not really. You don't even need to connect a wallet. A long-term viewer and good friend of mine, Umbra, did manage to get it working. And in the process, we discovered something, uh, we discovered something that was absolutely catastrophic. Like I'm talking security flaw, security breach to the maximum in Web3. And this is absolutely horrifying because this exploit has been in this game since day one. And as far as we can see, no one has found it and no one has reported it. And there have been no attempts made to fix it. Now, to explain what I mean by this, I need to give you a little bit of explanation on Crixivia. Crixivia is a blockchain-based Web3 game where your items become NFTs and you can trade them and sell them and all that good stuff. You know, all the fungibles that we love. However, here's how they're doing it. And this is going to be very important for what I'm, for what I'm about to show you. Crixivia is not 100% blockchain based. The NFT items in the games are only NFTs during a certain period of time. Now, when you're looking on the marketplace to buy, let's say, a legendary flaming sword, well, that sword is an NFT and you buy it. And when you buy it, you can transfer it into the game. Now, this is where it stops being blockchain based. It burns and destroys the NFT to give you it in-game on a regular Web2 database. Then you can use that sword for as long as you want, go killing bosses or other players, or just wait for the funny money to go up, I guess, as an investment. Then you can put it back on the marketplace. Now, when you do this, it removes the in-game database version of the item and mints it as a new item to put back on the blockchain as an NFT. Now, this middle step of it being not blockchain-based in the game is part of the reason that this gaping security hole exists and the one that I'm going to show you. Now, and just to clarify, yes, this is a very severe security risk and um, potentially even data breach, if you want to class it as that. So yes, by the time you're seeing this, I have reported it to the Crixivia team and whether they fix it or not, whether they take their services offline to even attempt to fix this is probably going to be seen by this point. Um, if they haven't, uh, God help them all. So what's the exploit? Well, the exploit's really simple. I can log into anybody's wallet connected account in Crixivia without their password, without a username, and quite frankly, without any skill whatsoever. I can straight up log into someone's account and destroy their items that will be worth thousands if that's what they've paid for them. I could trade off the currently fungible items to another account, mint them on the blockchain as my own, and there is no course of action to reverse this issue. So this is also a severe financial risk to anyone who's using this. Now, with those uh, pleasantries out of the way, let's discuss what this actually is. I am using Crixivia currently on a browser that doesn't have any wallet attached to it. There's this number right here, your characters. This is the wallet address that I've created specifically for this video. And there's a big, big issue. When you connect your wallet to this service, they create a one-time single password login thing, right? That's the whole, the whole spiel that they use to sell you on Web3. It's a simple, simple login. Now, what you would expect them to do is create a single time token to log you into the account and when you log out it will create a new token next time you verify a transaction to log in but what if it doesn't what if let's say the session token which is what's used to basically define that you are logged in and playing and are verified as that account what if that doesn't reset ever that's pretty bad yeah pretty pretty terrible now what if that login token is completely permanent, never changes, is stored in plain text, and is also part of the URL you are using to play the game with. I'm going to show you something. This right here 
in the URL after JWT equals is your password permanently for the game. And to showcase this, to, to showcase that this is not any BS and that I've not just made this up, this is an account that I've made specifically for this video. And in fact, it's an account that I'm going to link in the description that you can log into permanently without any wallet, without any login to my wallet, and without any verification. Now, this is not the only place that this is stored in plain text. It is stored in cookies, and it is stored in a few other places in your browser, even after you've left the site. To explain the severity of this, and how easy it would be for somebody with no programming experience to steal someone else's account. Let's say I join their Discord and I see that someone is live streaming them playing the game. Well, for starters, I can already see half of their login password in their browser. Depending on their font size, I can probably see the whole thing. But it gets worse. If I was to simply use some very easy social engineering and I said to them, hey, is uh, not letting me log in. Can you send me the link on your end. If they are none the wiser and they copy the link of the game that they're playing in browser and send it to me, they've not just sent me a link to the game. They have sent me irrevocable access to their account. They cannot revoke that. Once I have that URL, I can log into their account whenever I wish, at any point, any time of day, and they can do nothing to stop me doing it. Because that URL and that token, that login token in the URL is permanent. I have seen some utterly ridiculous programming mistakes made by Web3 startups and just blockchain games. And I poke fun at them. They're funny. Like these, these cock-ups are just hilarious. This one is downright dangerous. And I'm going to show you that this works. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to drop you the link. And uh, let, let's see if, if it'll let you log in. So th this is a wallet I created about half an hour ago. And it should have a character on there called Stolen. <laughs> Appropriately named. Here we go, moments of truth. Would you look at that? There, there's our boy, Stolen. And ready to be stolen i guess also for a, for a bit of fun you might as well uh, unequip some gear and just destroy it uh, for some memes i i just find it insane that this is even a thing absolutely insane so there we go that's how the exploit is done and it's very very easy to execute and just to add insult to injury it's actually much worse than that if you do have some programming knowledge and know how to set up like a shell website well because all that data is exposed to the browser other websites can simply scrape that up and just have your password you could make a website that is an absolute template of a website get someone to click the link and without them even clicking a button you can take their entire password and log into their account um I exposed this to them and informed the devs about much more than 24 hours ago now. And it's still not fixed. And I don't think they're going to. Uh, I don't think they actually really care. Because it doesn't increase their money. It doesn't make line go up. But who knows, maybe they'll fix it before the video actually goes live. Uh, until then, there is a link in the description and in the pinned comments for you to check out this account. Now, it's probably going to have someone permanently logged into it. So if you click it and it doesn't work... Don't worry, try again later. But as long as it tries to connect you to the service, if someone else is logged in, you know that this is working. It just can't connect because they're already logged in. Ladies and gents, if you enjoy this video and this sort of video, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And if you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming one of my patrons. And until next time, take care.